Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Learn and trade for it. Because I get these, I get sometimes I get comments on my YouTube videos, or I get emails, or people go to the website and leave questions. And one of the questions that always come up: What is the best trading strategy for me? Or is there a such thing as a the best trading strategy or a number one trading strategy? Right. And my answer to that question is no. There is no such thing as the best trading strategy. There is no such thing as the number one trading strategy. Right? I emphatically say no to that because the best trading strategy is the strategy that works for you. Now, when you think about that, you have to realize we realize that there are a lot of factors that come into play when you're talking about the best trading strategy or what strategy you know works for you right what often happens and i and i and i don't hear i don't hear this topic being discussed on youtube a lot or you know where there's a where, where there's an abundance of trading videos so what often happens is that someone will come onto a channel show you their success in the market and then they're going to tout their success as being the best this is far from the case because there's a lot of factors that go into what works best as a trading strategy for each individual trader okay and in this video i'm going to go through just a short list of about four things that you have to consider when you're deciding to trade right and when i say trade i'm talking about trading anything if you're trading stocks options um, futures if you're trading forex it doesn't matter there's a lot of things that well there's a few things that should go into your decision on the strategy that you're going to ultimately trade now maybe you should try different strategies to see what works for you but when it comes to deciding upon a strategy uh, that you're going to trade there are a few things that you got to remember to factor in okay and then in this video we're going to talk about those all right let's get to it now the first topic that we're going to talk about when deciding on which strategy works for you the best is something that people often talk about last but i think it's so important that maybe people should discuss well maybe traders should discuss this in the beginning right and it is called risk tolerance right now risk tolerance is how much financial uncertainty that you're willing to tolerate in the market how much stress from financial risk can you put on yourself uh you know it, when trading the markets right now high risk trading strategies they can offer big rewards right there's there's a lot of money to be made with high risk trading strategies but what's the flip side of that the flip side is with high risk trading strategies you can lose a lot of money quicker than you can make money all right so if you're not a person that that has you know can really bankroll in a sense your uh development in trading because let's face it we all i know i, I did it right we would love to say trade demo trade demo don't risk any money before you jump in the markets but the markets are so enticing and a lot of times when you first start trading you can win that first few trades and sometimes that's the worst thing that can happen to you is winning the first few trades because now you feel like hey i got it everything is good you know i'm gonna get in the market i'm gonna make a lot of money and then you'll quickly see that you have to pay your debt to the market right so as quick as you can make money in the market you can lose it even quicker right so you got to remember the first thing you should um think about when you're deciding what type of strategy to trade is the risk right is this a high risk strategy or is this a low risk strategy me I'm a very conservative trader. So I like low risk strategy trading strategies, right? Low risk strategies uh worked for me. It's the one that I developed after testing, you know, high risk strategies or you know, medium risk strategies, but the the, the strategy that I decided that I settled on in my in my trading, I guess profile or whatever you want to call it is a low risk strategy. So um first thing you want to consider is your risk tolerance level how much are you willing to uh put out in the market financially monetarily to see the returns that you want so you want to think about that first all right so the next thing to consider when 
determining what strategy works best for you is one that um, will it really resonated with me because the consideration of time, the time commitment that you that you can commit to trading. Now, let me let me specify when I'm talking about time commitment, I'm not necessarily talking about um, the time commitment that you put towards your education, right? You're going to have to spend time with the charts. You're going to have to put in countless hours of back testing, um, looking at charts, um, looking at certain patterns in the market, getting to know the candlesticks, um, plotting your support and resistance levels, you know, practicing. You're going to have to do that. You're going to have to put in countless hours to become a good trader. I didn't say great trader, a good trader, right? But when I'm talking about the time commitment, I'm, I'm specifically talking about actual trading, right? What type of time commitment that you're able to commit to trading either on a daily or weekly or monthly basis. Let me give you guys a, a quick background about myself. Um, I have been working with the same company outside of trading. I've been working with the same company for over 15 years, over 15 years employed by the same organization, right? My hours of operation are usually from about 9 a.m. in the morning till about 6 p.m. in the afternoon. And I am I am not going to cheat my organization by trading on the side because I do work from home trading on the side when I'm supposed to be focusing on my actual job. Right. I don't think that's fair. Right. So as for me, day trading wouldn't work for me day trading would not work for me, right? So I had to come up with the strategy that I could trade, right, around my work schedule, right? That's why I am a swing trader because the strategy the strategy that I trade only I'm I'm, I'm I only have to check the charts at 5 p.m. And maybe when the London market opens, if I'm up that early in the morning, I'll go in and just look at my positions and see how they're doing. Uh, or I may record my trades um, to post them to YouTube or to my Facebook group or or anything like that. So my strategy works for me. So that's something else that you would have to consider. What are your hours that your personal life takes up? And can you carve out time to trade? So when you when you're considering a trading strategy, you also want to think about the time commitment that it would take for you to be in the market and able with the ability to execute these trades. OK, so that's a big one as well. All right, let's move on to the third to the third point. All right, guys. So this third point that I'm going to give you, the third point is going to be huge. This is about to be huge. The third point that you want to consider when trading or determining a trading strategy is do you need to trade for income? Is trading going to be your primary income source? Right? So that would determine on the trading style or the type of trader you're going to become or what style you should adapt. Right? Now, Relying on trading income can in definitely influence the strategy that you're going to use. And I'm going to share, I'm going to share something personally about me um, and what made me determine the strategy that I'm going to use. Okay. So when I started trading, prop firms weren't the big thing. So we didn't really have someone that was able to fund your trading account for you right or, or you get a funded account they, they they were around but they weren't as popular as they are now right so i knew when i started trading there was i wasn't going to be able to quit my full-time job and just say i want to i want to just be a full-time trader i knew that wasn't going to be possible in the beginning because i didn't have a lot of money to trade with i remember i started my first trading account with a hundred dollars hundred dollars my story is I went to a <clears throat> sorry, I went to a trading um, 
seminar or a trading class. And from this class, I came away with what I wanted to do forever. I wanted to trade forever. I knew I wanted to trade, right? And I committed to myself to ultimately becoming a good trader, right? So with that being said, I knew if I wanted to make a lot of money in the trading in the trading uh, field, I had to build an account to where I can sustain risk, where I can have you know good returns, and my returns could equal a good income or, or a good supplemental income is, is what I call it, right? So I knew I had to work my full time job and fund my trading account while I am you know, working my regular job, so, so, so to speak. So I, so by doing that, I realized that, hey, and this is, this is my logic. Why make some of the money trading when I can develop a trading strategy where I can continue to work my full-time job, right? Because I actually, unlike a lot of people, I actually love what I do for a living. Unlike a lot of people, unfortunately. I actually love what I do for a living. Um, so, but I can continue to work my full-time job, make this great salary as well, and also trade and make that money as well, right? So I knew I needed a strategy that allowed me to do both, right? So another thing you want to consider when you're trading is how much income you want to make and do you need trading to be your main source of income? For me, fortunately, guys, I don't. And probably most of you don't either, right? So just think about that. Do you want to be a full-time trader and make, you know, good income, you know, barring that, that you pick a strategy that works for you and, and you're successful and you practice patience and all of the things that it takes to become a really good trader? Or do you want to, you know, have trading be a supplement to your income, make as much money as a full-time trader, but also have your other income for the times when the market isn't moving? or you have a bad week or a bad month trading because it's going to happen. Um, I chose the latter. I chose to do both, right? Um, not rely on trading as a only source of income or as a full-time income. It relieved the pressure from me for having to, having to be damn near perfect on my trades or having to trade so well where um, that pressure was relieved from me. So. I chose the latter. I never looked at trading as a as a as a primary source of income, but it does offer me a good income. But you know, I just choose to trade as well as work a full time. That's what I think about that part. That's something that you ought to consider when you're thinking about your trading strategy. All right, guys. So last but not least, the number one factor that I feel you should consider when picking a trading strategy or the type of trader you're going to become is your personality. It's your personality. I think upbringing plays a lot into the type of trader you're going to become. I think uh, things you've been through in your life, things that the, the stage of your life that you're in right now uh, plays a lot into, you know, the type of trader or trading strategy you should adapt. Things like what you're able to tolerate in terms of a trading style. Like, are you a fast paced, high paced type trader? Do you like being in and out of the markets? With me, that doesn't work for me. I like a more slow approach to trading. I like to see my setups clearly, right? Um, rationalize whether or not this is a good trade or not. And take my time and let the market come to me. Prove to me that I am right in my analysis and that I should be taking this trade. That is that fits my laid back personality. As you probably can guess from this video, I'm a very laid back individual, right? The way I'm talking and conveying this message in the video. Um, but I think that fits my personality better than in and out of the market, fast paced. So for a lot of people, it works for them. And that's great. Like I said, there are several factors, your upbringing, where you are in life. Um, you know, when I say where you are in life, like what are your responsibilities, your 
age that you're beginning to trade at um what do you want from trading when ultimately you want to stop trading or things like that right so i think your personality where you are in your life right now should also determine the strategy that you should trade um so these are the four things that i think should you know play into this trading strategy that you decide to trade i hope hope for someone this video was helpful right um if you want to get to know me as a trader why i trade the way i trade um i have a book on amazon it's called trade your personality um it's by gary phillips um you can go to amazon to purchase that book it's a short read it's only about 44 45 pages um so it's not a long read at all but it gives you an insight on how, what I feel, you know, trading should 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 be, um, how I feel about trading, and, and, it, and it, it talks about me in the beginning, so you can kind of determine some of the challenges that I had in my life, which ultimately ultimately led me to trading. I'll I'll put put the cover of this book um, at the end of this video and put a link down in the the uh, description. If you guys want to pick it up, I think it's Kindle version is like four ninety nine, five bucks on Amazon for the for the paperback. It's only like eleven bucks or something like that. But um, if you want to, you know, if you like this message, um, you, yeah, you should you should pick up the book. It's it's a really it's a short read. It's a good read, um, and it'll give you a little bit more insight on my thoughts about how personality and all of the other things that I listed in this video should impact your trading and decide on the trader trader that you ultimately probably will become <laughs> whether you know it or not uh, that, that you will become so hopefully for someone this video will help would help does help is going to help um and i appreciate you guys for um you know sticking with me and listening to me you know ramble on about how i feel you know you should pick a trading strategy i appreciate you guys um again if you like what i said or anything that i said in this video resonates with you you can go ahead and like the video you may want to subscribe to the channel um i offer up a lot of analysis ways to trade um i post a lot of my trades to this youtube channel so yeah it's, it's all there for you and i hope hopefully again i know i've said it before but i hope this video helps someone all right forex king i'm out